Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. To my channel. To my channel. Hey, it's Brittany, and welcome back. In today's video, I am going to be recreating this Rihanna look right here. So, if you guys would like to see my attempt at recreating this Rihanna look, then stay tuned. Hey guys, so we're going to start out with moisturizing our skin and I use two moisturizers, one that has sort of a tint to it and the other one that's just like a really good natural moisturizer. We're going to go in with the Neutro Gina Hydro Boost Water Gel and then the Glam Glow Glow Starter Mega Illuminating Moisturizer in the shade Nude Glow and we're just going to combine those two with a synthetic brush. And I am going to generously apply this all over my face, lips, neck, everywhere and anywhere that I can put this, it is going to be put down. Next, we're going to go in with some Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops in the shade Moonlight. And I'm going to mix that with my foundation. And this is my all-time favorite foundation that I use every single day. It is the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. And I am the shade Medium 1.5, which is Valoris. And we are going to generously apply that all over our face and bring it down to our neck and make sure that you apply that into the hairline and to the ears as well so it comes out evenly. Rihanna has the same skin tone as me, so luckily I don't have to do any other modifications. <music> get that nice and evenly blended out to your liking I am going to be taking two concealers the first concealer that I'm going to be using is this naked skin by urban decay in the color light neutral and then I'm taking the infamous famous revolution conceal and define in the color c5 the reason why I use two concealers instead of one is because I use a concealer that's kind of close to my skin tone for the outer points and I use a brighter one for just right underneath my eyes so that it's only bright right underneath my eyes where like my dark circles would be and nowhere else. That's just a little tip that I do.
That's right, now you guessed it, we are going to blend, blend, blend. You wanna make sure that you use a very light hand for this because you are laying this on top of the foundation that you just laid down and you do not want to smear or rub at all. You just wanna do light tapping motions so that it lays really nice seamlessly on top of your foundation. After you get that nice and blended to your liking, I'm going to go in and take my Cover FX Setting Translucent Powder and I'm going to lightly tap that underneath my eyes, still kind of keeping it a little bit heavy underneath my eyes because I definitely want to bake under there, but all around my face I just want to do a light little hand with that and then we are going to dust away the excess but I'm still keeping the little bit underneath my eye so that we can get right into the eye look. So for today's look because Rihanna has kind of like a smoky brown look we are going to use the Norvina palette by Anastasia. So I'm first going to take the color Entice and I'm actually just going to stick that kind of all over my lid but also concentrate that in the outer corner and working my way in the inner as I blend it out. You want to keep kind of like a light steady hand when you blend this color out because it is your base slash transition shade and you don't want it to move too much from where you set it. Next, on top of that, I am taking the color Eccentric and Passion, and I am just plopping that on top of the transition shade and then blending it out with a brush that has no product on it. We are then gonna go into the Morphe Singlets, and I'm gonna use the color Hanky Panky, which is just this really dark, pretty purple, kind of like mauve color and we are going to blend that on top of everything that we just laid down. Next I'm going in with a ColourPop singlet that's called Let Me Explain which is this really like champagne color because Rihanna has like a shimmery white color on her lid so I figured that would look good and then I am just going back in with Entice eccentric and passion mixed together from the Norvina palette just to kind of darken that up a little bit more and then I am blending that out with a brush that has no product on it <music> Now that we have completed the eyes and we wiped away the excess translucent powder, we are going in with the Too Faced Sun Bunny Bronzer and I am going to bronze my face and my nose with it.
once we get the bronzer all blended out and in place on the face, we are going to go back in with the Nordina palette and we are just going to take the same colors that we used on top of the eyelid and we are going to put them on the lower lash line to complete the eye look before we apply mascara and lashes. Because Rihanna has these pretty bright pinky cheeks, we are going to go ahead and use our Hoola blush in the shade, I believe it's called Sunkissed. And we are just going to apply that very generously on our cheeks and then kind of bring it back towards the end of the contour. As you can see, I applied lashes off camera and then we are going to go back in with that ColourPop singlet and we are going to highlight the inner corners of our eyes, underneath our eyebrows, our cupid's bow, and our cheeks with this shade. For lip liner, I am using MAC Strip Down to line my lips and kind of contour them. Then we are going to go ahead and go in with the MAC Matte Lipstick in the shade Diva because Rihanna has such a bold lip with this look. This was the perfect shade to achieve this lip look. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoy these types of videos, please leave a comment down below and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give it a big thumbs up. I will see you guys next time.